Well, hello everyone. Welcome to this new project. This is a barn find, and of course, is a, a Tiktronics uh, oscilloscope. Is a model 533A, and this is quite old. And I'm quite sure that uh, some problem, and at some point, the owner gave up and left uh, the unit uh, off uh, from 90s so uh, this uh, came with the unit this is uh, what we have found together so there are pieces that uh, to me seems that they come actually they the owner was uh, uh, well, pre well precise and maintain all the screws so seems that everything is uh, with the unit perhaps a few screws are missing and so the unit uh, seems to have a, a problem in the high voltage section and the unit itself uh, contain a type G a plug-in which is a wideband differential uh, vertical amplifier but it also have uh, this type M four channels uh, plug-in, which is in very bad shape. I already have seen uh, that uh, there are missing tubes. And moreover, there are very crusty uh, coaxial cable over there, which are completely broken all four channels so this is uh, to be replaced and there is a previous attempt to repair uh, with a very big uh, blob of solder and of course is an hybrid uh, as you can see there are Nuvistor transistor which perhaps are germanium transistor and vacuum tubes uh, uh, glass vacuum tubes so well uh, let's open it up and see how it's inside okay I grab my screwdriver but before I will put this aside I will cover this in a separate video it seems that uh, the work to be done on this is long so let me put this down here so let's try to open it up i don't know if even okay this turn let's see over there a very hard to turn okay here we have something oh look at that operator manual <laughs> operator's manual well it's not in a good shape okay however is uh well, it's nice to see so let's see if i can remove this cover actually not it seems that it's turning around and with no effect so let me try to do it off okay camera. i've been able to unlock the panels Okay, here I already have seen that there is a, a bad uh, mark and over there right, it looks better. So let me flip over and see how it is on each side. Yeah, as you can see here that we have another screw, perhaps a uh, to hold uh, one of the cover that came with the unit but over there look at that that is a very uh, nasty leakage around the insulated capacitors so I believe that those capacitors uh, are gone and well of course need a very nice cleaning let me 
zoom out. Okay, here we have, uh, oh, look at that. This is Lose It. Okay. So this is a push button. Okay. Here we have another switch. Here, another one. Okay. Well, actually, the uh, controls move freely and seems okay. So, look down there. Okay, let's see the fan is, is okay. It's a bit hard, but it's able to turn, so not too bad. And this looks to be perhaps another capacitor. I don't know, actually. Not sure. Perhaps it's a transformer or something different. No, no. Need to check on the schematic. Okay, so here we have a missing bolts, which I believe to, uh, to be related to this cover. So I will flip on the other side and see uh, the condition of the uh, left side. Here we have the high voltage section and it seems that uh, has been working on it. As you can see here, there is a solder work that uh, actually I don't like. Here we have uh, some other capacitors and more vacuum tubes. This seems to be sort of delay line or I don't know what actually is. Uh, there is another one over there. And here we have the vertical plug-in that I'm going to remove in a second. This is the bottom side that I just realized that is missing the cover. So don't know if I will be able to, to find it or to find the replacement. So, I turn the unit again in the front. And so, let's go to remove the plug. And not push. Okay, it's going out. Okay, so this seems to be complete. Vacuum tubes uh, are on its place. Don't know if they are good or not. There is a label. Let's see what. Okay, these are original Tektronics uh, vacuum tubes. So it seems to be uh, selected uh, vacuum tubes. Hopefully they are nice and still usable. And Okay, this is the rear with these uh, ceramic uh, stands for components. That's re it's really nice. And here we have the back uh, of the plug-in uh, connection. And it's quite oxidated. Nothing bad. Nothing that cannot be uh, repaired. There is a bit of rust around the screws, but all in all, it's not too bad. And I've been informed that this unit should have, uh, yes, it's over there, uh, by 100 magnifying uh, function that is very useful. So I hope that uh, I will see in working. So, I think that uh, we need a plan. Uh, let me think how to act this plan to bring this unit back in working condition. Well, laying down on its side, I have seen that there is a very burnt resistor over there. So, this is uh, perhaps the reason why it has been removed the cover. So that must be investigated more in depth. Here we have another switch that is running pretty fine. And here we have uh, the bottom that, as I said, is missing the cover. Let's see if in the future we'll be able to find uh, 
uh, the original one. Here we have uh, several electrolytic capacitors, two over there. This one is seems to be double. And other two over there. And those are in parallel. And another one. These are the two uh, insulated uh, can capacitor. This is a double one. And this is uh, uh, another one single. Oh, look at that. How beautiful is this switch. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Okay. This thing's a thing that is a, a danger capacitor that must be perhaps uh, replaced. So, plan of attack. First of all, a good cleaning and check of all the tubes. Uh, over there, there is a very... Uh, okay, that's understood. It has been replaced, the socket, the original one, with the European type. That's very bad. Don't like this kind of modification. However, it will allow me to plug up with the a standard European plug and well all in all is uh, not too bad so I think uh, this is the part one of this uh, series of videos and I will post uh, several videos since I believe that the process to uh, restore this uh, uh, oscilloscope will be very long so, uh, I think that I will start with the cleaning, tube checking, and then we'll see uh, if we can bring it back to work. So, thanks for watching and see you very soon.